Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. This time I'd like to talk to you about value conflicts. Now I've already discussed Schwartz's value theory with you and how values in opposition and alignment cause us different challenges in the workplace. But here we'd like to talk about just a generalized approach to looking at value conflicts. And so generally value conflicts in the workplace, they manifest themselves in areas such as individual attitudes, job satisfaction, turnover, performance, and even into uh, counterproductive work behaviors. So we could divide these value conflicts in these two categories you see here, intrapersonal conflicts and interpersonal conflicts. Now, intrapersonal conflicts are about conflicts within a given individual. Um, as individuals, we all experience stress and inner conflict, but in particular, when our values are in opposition, there is some inner tension here. This is what Schwartz was telling us with his value theory. People seem to have less stress and are happier when their values are in alignment. And this is, makes some good common sense. When we apply this concept to the workplace, however, it means an increase in job satisfaction when values are in alignment. And certainly that's what we're striving for with our employees is job satisfaction. Now, certainly it's appropriate to mention here that you cannot make people happy on the job, and that's really shouldn't be your intent as an owner or manager. Um, but what you can do is prevent dissatisfaction. So we settle for what is humanly possible, which is providing a work atmosphere that satisfies a person on many different levels. Now we look at interpersonal conflicts. Uh, this is about conflicts between individuals. So it's just a matter of a couple of letters and uh, we see intra and inter used in so many different ways in business terminology. But these interpersonal conflicts are something we normally call personality conflicts. Um, they're a negative force in the workplace, obviously. And it is important to understand that these value conflicts can be detrimental to organizational culture. They're detrimental to every working day in general. And so part of the problem is PE fit. Now this is also a concept, concept we've talked about in the past, personnel environment. It, it really means uh, getting the right person for the right job, which means a person whose values are generally in alignment with the norms and values in the organization's culture is going to fit in better, is going to last longer, and indeed may stick around. Um, sometimes, we encounter individuals in the workplace who are deemed difficult people, so to speak, or people that uh, you might say are hard to get along with. Many times, these individuals are dealing with value conflicts of their own, and it is expressed by the behavior that we observe and, and unfortunately, many times have to interact with. Okay, folks, that's what I wanted to talk about this time. I'll talk to you again soon.